Hello people of the earth and welcome to Quicksave TV. My name is Mike and today I'm going to present to you patch 102B for Diablo 3. The, uh, ver the version of the patch is 9950, okay? So we're moving closer and closer to 10,000. Anyway, uh, the point is, uh, Blizzard just recently released on their uh, on the Diablo 3 official site, they released their viewpoint on generally things in Diablo 3 and what they would like to change and fix in the upcoming patch 103 and the upcoming patch 1.1. 1 .1. And uh, in all honesty, it was like a tease, okay? It was like a big tease and then they released 102B and it's not really something impressive. But it's good that they fix some things and, you know, it's fine. It's good that they use this downtime for their servers in order to fix some small issues. Okay, good. Let's just go ahead and read out the notes. It's not so many, not a lot of them, but I will try to give my feedback on them. So, blah, 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 bish, blah, 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 bish. General changes. Okay, when logging into Diablo 3, the console button, which appears in the login checkbox, will now be grayed out for 30 seconds after a Battle.net account name and password are entered. This is to reduce the server load during the login process. I am not a network engineer and certainly not a server administrator, so I would not know. But I am confident that this uh, change will not actually impact most of the users, except for me, because I love to make uh, some mistakes in my password entry and then I like, oh, cancel, you know. <laughs> but it's not something uh, dramatic, and if it helps them to maintain and manage their servers better, I'm all up for it. Auction house. Damaged items can now be sold on the auction house, which is a great thing, and I will explain why. Um, before that, sometimes you would just finish playing your gaming session. Let's say you would play for two hours. You stopped playing, you got some items, blah, blah, blah. You got some upgrades, you replace them with your items, and you put the items you don't need in your back, at the stash, you know, just so they don't take any space. But you forgot to fix them. You forgot to go to the merchant and click the repair button. Ah, you go to main menu, you go to auction house, you go to sell. Oh, you cannot sell damaged items. And you're like, shit, you know. <laughs> now you have to get back into the game, take the items out of the stash, go to the merchant, repair them. And because of that, you waste a lot of time on needless things, in essence, you know. You fixing or not fixing items does not impact their quality. And, you know, disallowing you to sell them is very, very sad. Now, once sold, damaged items will be repaired automatically when moved from the purchasing player's completed tab to their stash. So, in essence, once a player buys it and he moves it in his stash after buying it, it's going to be fixed to 100% durability. But... Please note that the unsold damage items will not be automatically repaired when returned to the seller's stash, which means that you cannot, with the upcoming changes in 103 and 1.1 1 .1 with the um, repair cost, which will be increased dramatically, we're talking about f four, six times, it's a very, very big increase, you will not be able to cheat this way. You will not be able to try to sell your item for several millions and then come in two days later to pick it up. It's not going to happen because they're not going to allow you to do that. It's not going to be fixed. It's going to be fixed only if somebody else buys it. So, potentially, if you're a risky person, you could risk with your friend. You're like, oh, i got to put my ass for one, one gold coin. You know, buy it quickly right now, you know. And, yeah, and give, the, and give it back to me. <laughs> anyway. Okay, good. And description messages for several auction house-related errors have been added. Good. Doesn't bother me. I mean, never had a really a lot of errors while using it. Only some complaints. Mac. Several Mac performance, performance improvements have been made. Now, this is very nice. If you're having a Mac, now your game will run much better. But I don't know. I don't have Mac, so I'm sorry about it. But congratulations, Mac users. We love you. We love minorities. Bug fixes. General, it's no longer possible to skip entire acts in a multiplayer game. Now, what do they refer here, I don't really understand, is that the, um, you know, the practice players have adopted to actually quickly advance through the content. Is that what they're talking about? Or they're talking about something else? Because if they're talking about this thing, that probably means that now you will not be able to invite your friend to, for example, let me give you a, a simple example. Your friend just started hell difficulty, okay? He beat the game two times, he started hell difficulty, he's really bored, and he says, Look, Bill, I need your help, okay? Just help me. 
I, I need you to help me unlock Inferno difficulty. You're like, yeah, sure, no problem. You create a game, the latest act of hell, because you've already beat it and you can easily do it solo. And you invite him into your game. He joins the game. You go to the latest boss of the hell difficulty. You kill him and he unlocks, the, your friend unlocks Inferno difficulty. Is that what they're talking about? Or are they talking about something else? Because if they talk about that, it's kind of... I have no opinion on the topic because difficulties are restricted anyway. By you cannot join to them. You cannot start playing Inferno until you're level 60. You cannot start playing Hell until you're level 50. You cannot start playing Nightmare until you're level 30. Whether or not you've been boosted, it doesn't really help. So, what the hell was the point? Next, classes. Barbarian, active skills. Fix the bug that was allowing uh, certain barbarian skills to continuously trigger each other's critical strikes to the point of causing the player to crash. To address this crash, the following skill and skill rune combinations can no longer be triggered by each other's critical strikes. We have Battle Rage with skill rune Bloodshed, Cleave with rune Rupture and Scattering Blast, Hammer of the Ancients with the Thunder Strike, and Wrath of the Berserker with Slaughter. I have never used any of this in a combination with each other, honestly, except for maybe Cleave and Hammer of the Ancients, uh, the Thunder Strike and the Rupture, and I never had this crash. But you know, from from one point from one point of the picture, yeah, okay, it's good that they kind of fixed it, but it's not so cool because. In essence, they uh, dump down some of these skills, and now that you don't activate each other, your builds overall will be weaker, which is sad. I never used it in a solid one build, but for any of you who, di who did, you have to be really careful now, because it's a bad, bad change. I hope they will find something more solid as a change, because right now it seems like they've cut a, a good part of combinations for a barbarian, a small part of combinations, you know, but pretty important. And now they say, oh, we fixed the issue. But it, I don't really agree with that. Now, next, followers. Monsters who are charmed by the Enchantress skill mass confusion can no longer kill event NPCs. It never happened to me, <clears throat> but it would be a really nasty problem if uh, mass confused enemies just would start killing the quest event NPCs. And that's good that they fixed it. There's nothing else to say. That's very good that they fixed it. That's, that's a very one-sided thing. Now, that would be it. How much did we do? Oh my god, seven minutes. I'm so sorry for that. It became really long. I'll try to edit it. Anyway, I thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this patch notes. And if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel in order to support my work and get notified when new content becomes available. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Have a greatest day and bye-bye. It sounds funny when you attack the enemy. It sounds like drums, so you're like, doof, 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 you know. <laughs> I like the barbarian's approach to armor. The less armor, the better, you know, cannot go wrong with this way of thinking.